I think this is actually a good start to this topic, and I'm happy to go down this route quite a while. Yeah. Like just even how you guys are using Google AI. I, but to answer your question, Ollie, yeah, I've got a lot of like prompts and save prompts. I'll even use them yeah. in a, a text expander for something that I use on a repeatable basis. Yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. I created uh, uh, in Notion. I can share with you if you want. Like, yeah. uh, I, I created Notion. You have a database. And it's not, yeah, it's good. Yeah. I've actually been yeah. using, have you been using Anthropic at all, Claude? No. no. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, for long, for long content, but it's more for content creation because it allow me to do 5K text easier than with ChatGPT. Yeah. yeah, I've been using that a lot. I like that one a lot. Um, I don't know yeah. about like more. They're kind of like different use cases. I find I have like different use cases for each of the AIs, like Bard I use for like how I'd want to ask a question of Google. ChatGPT yeah. is like like my writing partner, and then Claude is somebody like my, you know, somebody I always want to outsource longer form stuff to. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that for and for Google Ads, I I like Bart for keyword research <laughs> because it belongs to Google. So normally the research for the keywords are better than on OpenAI and ChatGPT, etc. So, yeah, so every every app about- is a usage. Talk about how you're using Bard for Google keywords, like a bit more specifically. Uh, I would I would try to search uh, more long tail keywords by using Bard. So I would feed a little bit and then uh, use my prompt to to search, for example, uh, ten re- keywords that are related, but uh, long tail for maximum three or four uh, keywords, and I will ask him to like and continue. It's more kind of a conversation, but you can find some gems. So, so really keywords. Oh, this one I could use it. So, it, it for Google Ads, and also when you want to to write some content on some on some ads, you can, it can give you some idea. So it's more it's more specific. Yeah, really for for Google Ads. If I have to do my research, I'd rather use Bart. But for creating, I'd rather use ChatGPT. It's like it's like you said, every AI has its usage. But I'm, I'm afraid to multiply a little bit too much. But, but it's like uh, I'm gonna have to. With pay chat GPT, <laughs> with chat GPT, it's also about getting the right prompts. Like for example, if I am, um, you know, selling something and I have five kinds of avatar, the now it's not about like which keyword you test. It's also the what intents do you test more with the keywords, yeah, awesome. and that's where you can really ask chat GPT the just imagine you are that buyer persona what would you put in like what variety and how would you like uh you know uh, put up a query with different intents and then you can get a lesson so that gets you you know what the buyer intention across different personas would be and so you know the that prompt part with the ai is really important if you have the right prompts you can actually do a lot Otherwise, a simple thing like get me keyword list of this, this, this. It's like it's basic stuff. So you have to level up your game. You can actually do really well with GPT. Have you? Yeah, I, I temp, yeah. Sorry, go on top. So sorry. No, I was gonna say, oh. have you guys used the custom instructions in ChatGPT? Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Not me. Yeah, I have a, a list also for every persona. So every profile I want to start with. So if I, if I, uh, okay, I'm a media buyer, I'm searching for a keyword, some a list of keywords. So I prepare in the instruction and you have to follow this, this, this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, what I, what I regret is there's no individual one. So you have to redo every time. That's what yeah. I regret for now. Yeah. I almost but feel like we'll... getting individual chat GPT logins for each custom. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. It's true. That's a, that's the only part that's annoying. But it's already good like this. Yeah. yeah. So, so Rossi, you were talking a little bit earlier about how you were using uh, ChatGPT for like not having to go back and forth with clients and other stuff. Can you talk a little bit more specific about kind of your workflow there and what you're using it for? So a lot, a lot of time, what happens, especially if it's the campaign creative oriented a lot. Um, like images and videos, we have different angles, looks, and like, you know, the targeting variations, like this is the version of 
one, two, three, four, we have it in our minds. What we have to do is we have to put it together in terms of like the creative brief and get back to the designer. They'll give us something and then we'll go to the client, try to show and try to get suggestions. But now it's like, I don't need the designer there. Like probably some little tweaks that AI fails to get me. But like, I know what I really want to test. Like this is the, this is, this is the avatar I want to go after. Then I'll just put it into my journey, get some variations. Like this is what I'm looking at, the feel of the creative. Um, it's like, you know, uh, with that and then quickly show it to the client. So that, that time in between saves a lot. Like it's sometimes you, it's the iteration part of between, you know, what I, the, what you have in your mind, um, what client expects. And so that back and forth is something that's just the best thing I've found so far. Nice. Yeah. I recently, uh, use chat GPT for coming up with some creative ideas. So if you start to see a, a, a new video, I think we're running ads for it of Ralph using soccer as an, an analogy for full funnel marketing or, or football for mm -hmm. all the internationals. Um, you know, I asked <laughs> that, that came from a list of uh, ideas from chat GPT. I, you know, I was looking for, I asked it basically to come up with analogies for full funnel marketing. And it gave me a list. Most of them were not very good, but some of them like really kind of, hit home and like we can build upon that. And I think it's really, for me is a really strong creative part. It's a good creative partner for me. Like, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because of the, like the creative uh, iterations we'd go, we threw um, like, you know, what really worked and we put, put in more variations of things which have worked for us in that also, you know, uh, the AI tools help us provide variations if we have right prompts, like if this worked, why is it work? And this is the direction we want to create variations into. So you help us out in that. So it's like, it's, it's, it's like dream come true. I would say, because you, you <laughs> don't have the idea of blockage, like, oh my God, what should be the next variation or the next test, you know, you just flow. Um, you learn from it and you quickly deliver things on the client end. I agreed. How about sure. uh, chat GPT code interpreter? Are you guys using that for any sort of data analysis? Yeah, I, I was I tempted to do, it, to do it with Excel sheet, but I, I haven't tried yet. Is it, it's so overwhelming nowadays. I, it, we are saving time, but every time I save time, <laughs> I learn something else and I'm like, oh, I have to watch that and, and then learn how to do that. So the, the, the code interpreter, I. I think I, I used it for one or two things, but but I, I wanted to try, yeah, uploading uh, an Excel sheet and uh, and then ask him to analyze specific column and things like that. Still have to do. It's on my to do list. I know my 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 Twitter feed is like full of like like somewhat nerdy AI people and just the new stuff that's always coming out. Like, yeah. I don't. I want to get my YouTube, own llama. YouTube. Uh, yeah. yeah. Every day yeah, you wake up, there's a new exciting AI in the market, really. And then it's really hard. For me, it's really hard to keep up with all the tools that are coming in the market. So I just test the ones which are like really popular and can help me with my media buying. Otherwise, it's really distracting, honestly. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. I, 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 and my problem is I, I like the chat GPT for my work, but I like a side of my work and then I like my journey and then it's, it's completely overwhelming. It's like, yeah, but it, it's a nice era. It's like, I don't know. It's a, it's an era for me. It's like going to change everything. So oh, for sure. I mean, yeah. even mid journey now has their in painting tool where you can modify. That was always the biggest problem. Yeah. Mid journey is you had to like nail the prompt. Now you can always just kind of iterate on like the image it puts out. You can use ChatGPT to do the prompt for you. Also. I know. It's, uh, if you <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, with Code Interpreter, I, I, you know, as an agency, we have to be somewhat careful about what we can and can't upload because you know our clients. Sure. Yeah. But I did. Yeah. For, you know, we're we're doing some new ad testing for Tier Eleven marketing, um, testing, you know, really leaning into the idea that we've been talking a lot about of you know the different phases of awareness, consideration, and conversion. So what I did is I took all of the CSV files for the perform <clears throat> performance of our different um, social uh, social posts across uh, Meta and YouTube, 
fed those into Code Interpreter and asked it to predict which of these socials would be better at each stage of the customer journey. And it went through this whole list of like, oh, awareness, you have to really be focused on um, like view, average view length, total impressions. So it picked the top videos or social posts based off of those criteria. Then it was like consideration. It was like, well, here we want to pick videos that have high engagement, comment shares and all that and picked a set of videos for there. And then for conversion, it was basing it off of click through rates um, because there's not really a whole lot of conversion data on social media. So it was pretty interesting how it like use everything that it's built on to take a massive amount of information and give me five things that I would have spent tons of time just going, going through and making guesses on my own. Yeah, for, for it's it would be good also for you to you, you do a YouTube campaign. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't know, okay, what, what, what I'm going to start with and mix with the audience and you, you follow your funnel with it. It's, uh, it's also useful for that. I guess, you know, yeah, what kind of video you would that, want. On that only, uh, I don't know if you remember the framework that we have, the educate framework. Um, so that one I have taken that framework, just for example, like any um, hook problem um, solution, and then you put a, a credential and then a call to action. So like a basic uh, framework that is that you put it in. If you have an intense framework, like follow these, 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 these steps and you put that framework in and, you know, and then ask Google to fill in variations of hook. Uh, problems and then solution and then um, a credential part of it. So it can really help in creating the video. And then you take that as the only send that gave me a prompt to create a text to video and then it, you put it in there. <laughs> so, yeah. I think they're already living in 2040 or 2030. Yeah. Or something. The, the, the thing I found most helpful with stuff like that is having a really strong like ICP or persona profile. Like I'll usually feed that in first like who, who the, we're trying to target, what they're, what keeps them up at night, what are their goals? And if we yeah. have really cool language there that is based off the customer's language, that really helps coming up with very good outputs. Yeah, you can yeah, do so with the customer instruction also. Taking... What's up? Yeah. I, I do it with custom AI instruction AI now. Audio? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sorry, there's Rushing. a lag. That's Hi. fine. Go ahead. <laughs> So the, the one that's really excited is the AI audio one. And so if that can be integrated with the communication tools like Slack, what that AI does is the more you, you know, do communication with the people on Slack and learns how you talk, how you respond, and then it starts responding on behalf of you if people are looking for any questions or queries. And I just realized that how we have gotten derailed from Google Ads. Um, <laughs> we'll jump back to that. So what was that tool called? No, it's it's in working. It's oh. not uh, still here, yeah. All right, we have a question from Saeed here, which kindly named some free AI tools as well, specifically for Google Ads. Maybe, so we hit maybe Rashna, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe Rashna have some names because I don't use specific tool. I mostly use ChatGPT, uh, Bard, yeah. and Claude, but I don't use specific AI tools for Google Ads. More Google for content. itself is uh, the biggest AI tool in itself, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So <laughs> you don't necessarily need another AI tool to combine. But if you're starting small, I would say chat GPT is the way to go because it's again, not creative uh, heavy on Google. Um, so yeah, I think chat GPT is, would like would do 90% of your work. Um, besides that, there are other AI options already, you know, available inside Google ads like uh, enhanced conversion that you should use or any suggestions that, you know, in terms of the headlines that pop up, um, keywords that pop up, be very, you know, um, strategic about it, not just if Google is giving you, you just test in. Um, but there are so many AI tools included in the Google Ads uh, dashboard itself. So honestly, like we managed so many heavy spending Google Ads account, 
hardly have we come across that we need a very specific AI tool. We just do uh, with chat GPT. What about you, Ali? Is there anything else you use? No, uh, it's really I, it's chat GPT, Bard, uh, Claude for some, some content. Uh, the rest is like, uh, I still use my old spy few <laughs> for yeah. my, uh, the competitive, uh, so no specific, no specific tool for, for my ads. I think it's enough with chat GPT and everything it offer and, and Bard also. That's... Yeah. Facebook and Google must be like, why does everybody care about AI now? We've been doing machine learning for the last five to eight years, not longer. Yeah. <laughs> 